a new way to train LLM reasoning. So the problem with current reasoning models is you have just one simple question or a bit of text and then the LLMs learn to reason. But what if you have huge amount of text noise and you need to look at the entire text like 16,000 tokens and go here reason a bit then go there reason a bit and then it's all over. So these complex reasoning tasks over a lot of context, a lot of noise are actually not trained so well right now. Now we just have a simple math question and or code question and then it needs to reason. But you would imagine that if we have huge code bases and we need to reason across huge code bases, then this long RL method is perfect for this. So this is more like a data generation way how to generate data. So you teach the LLM to plan what context it needs to search and retrieve that context to reason and then recheck and replan again and loop this again to plan for the next piece of context reason retrieve and reason again etc so this is done with the way of generating data that they describe here i have a good example generated by gemini here which explains it really well i think this is gemini 3 because i got a b test and this one is very good so to train the model to reason across huge amount of text and retrieve data from anywhere and combine data we're gonna set up the training in the following way. So we have a question. When did the team, this team, uh, win this cup? Some basic question. But we don't give this question to the LLM directly. We actually hide this question as well in the text. So remember, we are teaching it how to, so this is the training data. This is how we create training data. And we give the prompt like start with a UUID A. So we actually just have these IDs scattered throughout the prompt. And we tell the model one of these IDs and it needs to look for the corresponding ID. And then when it finds corresponding ID, it then gets redirected to the next one and then next one, next one. And then when it finds all of these IDs, Eventually, it will find the question itself. So in this way, it needs to retrieve and reason about finding where these IDs are throughout the messy context. So that's how it's learning. Join my school community to become AI researcher. We have all of these courses. We are learning everything from scratch. It's for free right now. You have community and soon it's going to be paid when I build the initial community. So hurry up. A link below the video to get free forever access. So the prompt can go to start from UUIDA in the text. And then when it finds that, it will point to UUIDB, which will, when it finds that, it will point to C, etc. They also add fake chains that point to nowhere, that don't point to the question or the answer. So to try to confuse the model, so the model learns not to be confused like this. Here, the model is learning to retrieve very scattered facts by reasoning and retrieval, and then use those facts to find the question, question to find the answer. I'll show you an example of user prompt. The following text contains hidden question. To find it, you must, you must follow the correct chain of key value pairs, starting from the key this key, find the question, then use the text to answer it. Then it's given long context of a bunch of different documents. But check this out. We have these JSON brackets where we have this key and then this value corresponding to that key. And later in the third documents of this long context, we have this value that we just found, but now it's a key. And now that key has some other value. And so there is a huge number of documents and text here and these keys and values scattered around. So in document five, the key actually now has the question. And the question was, what was the population of the city where the author of the Crimson, Crimson River was born? But notice that in document two, we had a fake chain that leads to fake question that we didn't actually. So if it mistakenly tries to follow that chain, gets confused, it will get to the wrong question. 
and the information to answer this question is also scattered. For example, one document may explain who was the writer of the Crimson River, and another document will talk about the city that this writer was born in. The third document will talk about population of that city. Interestingly enough, once it learns to trace these IDs, it will also carefully trace the, all of the information necessary to answer the question, even though they don't have their IDs. But it will do a lot more tracing and reasoning uh, compared to the classic reasoning model that we have today that doesn't trace and reason so much. And this new way of tracing and reasoning works better according to the paper. So this loop, plan, retrieve, reason, recheck, model learns it on its own to do this loop to answer these questions. And so model is thinking in this loop, plan, retrieve, reason, recheck. And scientists gave uh, this loop this name. And model doesn't necessarily refer to this loop with this name, but if you look at the model's reasoning traces, you will see that they correspond to this loop. So first, plan. Model would reason. To solve this, I need to follow these steps. First, I must identify x. Second, I will find y. Finally, I will calculate z. Then retrieve. Looking at passage 6, it states that. Then reasoning after the retrieval, reasoning with the new information. So it would say something like, now that we know the winner was Aston Villa, the next step is to and recheck also happens where the model reflects on its reasoning and retrieval. So it can, it's similar to the deep six wait, wait, but this doesn't seem so. The model may say the passage is a bit ambiguous here. Let me read it again to be certain. Or I should verify if this is the only mission he worked on. And so this image in the paper shows the same uh, tracing as I was explaining. So we have key value chains, so this key, this value, but then somewhere else in that text, this value becomes a new key. And so then this and then original question, but also we have distracting key value and distracting question. So it needs to learn not to make mistakes and get distracted by these distracting chains. The way they train this is through multiple stages. First is the warm-up, where they just have long text and they have question and then ask the, mod the model to retrieve, find the answer, single answer in the text and answer the question. There is no key chain, there is no IDs, it's just very simple. In the second stage, they introduce this key chain training that I was explaining. And in the third stage, they remove all of the simple answers from this key chain data and only leave the more difficult ones. And then this is how they push the model beyond its limits to learn even more. But you cannot just train on single type of data like keychain only because then it will forget the other types of data. So they also add in the simple long context retrieval from the warmup and they add short context math uh, like the current LLMs do reasoning. To verify the rewards, they don't need exact match, but they just check if the model's answer is the substring of the ground truth or the ground truth is the substring of the model's answer. They also show that if you teach the model on 16k tokens, it will generalize to 128k as well. So you don't need to train this for do this big expensive training on long context. Interestingly, this method has a side effect that it makes um, needle in haystack retrieval on 128k tokens very good for the small models, like 7 billion parameter model, which is actually very difficult to do. So this is an interesting side effect. On these benchmarks, here you can see that our method performs best. And you can see here R1 distill Quen 7b on 128k needle in haystack, it performs very poorly. But our method is very good. And also we have warm-up stage one, stage two. So during the training, the accuracy keeps improving, the reasoning 
response length also keeps improving, showing that the model is using more and more tokens to reason. That's it for this video. Join my school community to become AI researcher. We got all of these courses. It's for free for now while I get initial members and then I'm going to make it paid. So hurry up. Link below the video.